In this tutorial, we are going to see how a measurement model can be tested using a smart PLS. Normally, in measurement model, we test two things, construct validity and construct reliability. If you want to know what is construct validity and reliability, you should watch my another video in that I have briefly explained that what is the concept of construct validity and what are the different types of construct validity and what is construct reliability. But in this particular video, I am going to teach you how these can be tested in a smart PLS. So let's get started. Okay, so I have already drawn the model and I'm ready to go for analysis. For testing measurement model, we can go to calculate. And here you can see there are different options. So there is one option PLS algorithm and the other option is consistent PLS algorithm, right? So for measurement model, we normally go for PLS algorithm or consistent PLS algorithm. When your model is reflective, you can go to consistent PLS algorithm. But when the model is formative, you can go to PLS algorithm. In order to know what is reflective and formative constructs, you can watch my another video. So here my model is reflective. Therefore, I am just going to consistent PLS algorithm in here. I have to select consistent PLS algorithm. Okay, so partial least square and click factor. It is already uh, selected. What you have to do with just press start calculation so the measurement model is estimated as you can see at the bottom of the page there are certain links given so you can see uh, construct reliability and validity discriminant validity if you can go to construct reliability you can see there are certain values which are in green and there are certain values which are in red so green values are basically those values which are meeting the criteria the benchmark and the red values are not meeting the criteria so we will be discussing later on in this video that what are the criteria for respective measures uh, the second is discriminant validity as we all know that construct validity is divided into convergent validity and discriminant validity so one by one we will be seeing the measures of uh, and the indicators of convergent validity and discriminant validity okay so the calculations have been done let's see how we can interpret the output Cronbach alpha and composite reliability are two different measures of construct reliability let's see the benchmark so both the measures values should be equal or greater than 0 0.7 to measure convergent validity we can use average variance extracted and the value should be equal and greater than 0 0.5 in order to measure discriminant validity there are three different methods fauner and larker heterotrade monotrade ratio and cross loadings in fauner and larker the benchmark is that all diagonal values should be greater than their off diagonal values in second criteria hdmt ratios should be less than 0 0.9 you can also see in some past papers that researchers have suggested 0 0.85 ratios less than 1 0 0.95 in the third criteria according to cross loadings the loading the factor loadings of each item of, uh, of a particular latent variable should be higher than its loading on other latent variable all the benchmarks that i have used in this video are suggested by some past researchers